Hello, welcome to the overview video for Castaway Fishing's starter kit. This kit is designed for the angler that's just getting started in fishing. They don't want to use a specific kind of technique, they don't want to catch a certain kind of fish, they just want to go out and catch fish. Starting with the inside cover here, we have a waterproof tip sheet to give anglers a great kind of guide for where the fish typically hang out in, uh, in lakes and rivers, and it really shows them key areas to hone in on when they're out on the water. Starting with the lures, up top here we have a wide variety of crankbaits. A uh, good way to pick which crankbait you want to use on the day you're out fishing is to look at the lip size. Usually the bigger the lip, the deeper the crankbait dives. Obviously if you're fishing shallow water, you want to pick a crankbait with a smaller lip. If you're fishing a little bit deeper water, you want to pick a crankbait that has maybe a little bit longer lip. Uh, the other thing with crankbaits is they're designed to imitate uh, minnows, uh, smaller bait fish, that sort of thing. So you want to pick a crankbait that's about the size or shape of the forage that you're fishing around. Obviously if you're going near little minnows you'll want to pick out a little crankbait. If you're going after a little bit longer fish, maybe go with a longer crankbait. Also up here is a spoon. Uh, spoons obviously famous for catching northern pike, uh, but they're great at catching really all game fish species. Uh, these are nice and simple to fish with. All you have to do is cast them out and just reel them slowly in, and the spoon will do all the work for you. With the crankbaits, you can just cast them out and reel them in straight, but I find it also works well to kind of give them little twitches while you're retrieving them, uh, to make it look more erratic, more like a dying bait fish. Over here we have uh, marabou jigs, or fuzzy jigs, or furry jigs, or whatever you want to call them. Uh, these are absolutely deadly for panfish, as well as walleye and bass. Uh, this marabou tail, once it's wet, uh, looks absolutely amazing in the water. Um, these jigs are typically fished by uh, giving them little twitches or jerks to uh, make them simulate uh, dying minnows. Um, but there's really no wrong way to fish them. You can drag them along the bottom, you can vertically jig them. Uh, anyway, they're, they're absolutely deadly. In this compartment, uh, I pulled these out a little bit earlier, but in this compartment is two things every beginner angler needs, a pliers and a nail clippers. The pliers is to remove hooks from the fish's mouth, uh, especially handy if you're fishing for toothy fish such as pike. And the nail cutters is to cut uh, the tag ends of your knots. Anytime you have line that needs cut, these come in handy. And trust me, when you're fishing you have plenty of line that needs to be cut. Also in this compartment are two different sizes of bobbers. Uh, the bobbers can be used with the uh, split shot and the hooks. Uh, what, and then when live bait is added, such as worms or minnows, uh, they're the absolute classic when it comes to fishing. A lot of anglers get their first experience fishing uh, by watching a bobber go underwater, and really nothing can top watching that bobber go down and start moving away. Um, it's a great way to get started fishing. But for anglers that get a little bit tired watching bobbers, uh, like myself, uh, if we'd like to cast stuff, uh, down here, a couple more lures you can cast. We have another two crankbait styles. Um, obviously, these are smaller, uh, meant for um, more smaller, smaller game fish, big pan fish, uh, and they better simulate small minnows. Uh, this crankbait uh, that uh, apparently wants to fly away here. This crankbait works better when you cast it out and just reel it straight in, whereas this crankbait works a little bit better if you twitch it. This little lure is called a blade bait. Uh, it's called a blade bait because that's basically what it is. It's one solid piece of metal. Obviously, these sink very quickly, so they're very good at fishing deep water. Uh, you can jig these, you can cast them, you can troll them. Uh, the vibration and flash from this is absolutely fantastic. These different holes are different spots to tie your line to. Each hole will give you a little bit different action. Uh, obviously, it's up to you to determine which one's the best one on the day you're fishing, uh, but that gives you some nice choices right there. Next to that are the two most versatile lures in this box. These are called beetle spins. Uh, basically, they're a round head jig tipped with a soft plastic attached to a spinner arm. Uh, you attach your line to this little loop on the spinner arm. I hope you can see that. Uh, and from there, there's really no wrong way to fish these. You can reel them straight in, letting the uh, soft plastic and the blade do all the work. You can fish them like a jig. You can drag them along the bottom. You can roll them. Uh, there's no wrong way to fish these. These are absolutely fantastic for a wide range of species. Obviously, if you're going for bigger fish, use the bigger one, smaller fish, smaller one. 
Next to that are the sinkers and hooks. Uh, the hooks can be used under the bobbers or you can make your own bottom rigs. Uh, there's other videos elsewhere on the channel that show you how to do those uh, if you're interested. Uh, last but not least we have our jigs and soft plastics. Uh, these are typically paired together um, and casted. For example, you'd take maybe this jig and you want to put on this twister tail. You put it on you cast it out, and it's a really simple, very effective way to catch fish. There, again, there's really no wrong way to fish this, uh, just as long as it's not in too heavy a cover. Uh, you can also put live bait on these jigs. Uh, that works very well. Or uh, you can fish with them under bobbers. You don't even have to cast the jigs. Uh, so the jigs, very, very versatile. Uh, can be tipped with, like I said, either soft plastics or live bait, uh, and work for a wide range of species. Uh, that about does it for this kit. Uh, it's a great way to get started into fishing. You have a little bit of everything here, so you should be able to catch fish no matter where you are, no matter what time of the year it is. Uh, there should be a lure in this kit that will catch you fish. Cast away.